Hello, I'm Brad Edwards. Thank you for joining us here on the stream. CBS News Chicago, Wrigleyville residents on edge after five abductions and robberies happened over this weekend, each with a similar MO. Right now, the alderman up there, Tom Tunney, similar is holding his press conference. And, Let's uh, listen similar in. Similar type of incident. So uh, that being said, there's a couple things. Uh, the, upon uh, calling headquarters and the 19th district, we have received additional resources as of Monday night. Uh, citywide teams that are being deployed around the Wrigley area. Number two is our private security on the Clark Street SSA corridor has increased their presence uh, till further notice. And then uh, thirdly, um, we, uh, we are very concerned. We're an entertainment district. These next couple weekends um, are going to be uh, full of uh, visitors and tourists and Halloween and such. So while I know that we have issues citywide, I certainly, as the representative of Lakeview of the 44th Ward, uh, we are asking you know, for just a, a stronger presence um, and a, a more visible presence both with CPD and our, our private partners. Um, with that being said, since we have an opportunity to talk to our citizens and our residents of Chicago, again, it's an entertainment area. People have been drinking. We don't know the condition of the victim at the time, but alone, late night, on an active street with lots of, act you know, which is good for safety in, in my opinion, but that being said, these, these individuals were uh, met pleasantly, like, let's get together sometime, you know, let's... You know, it was kind of a friendly uh, approach, um, and then my understanding is once the individual got into this person's car, which is strange in of itself, then uh, there was there was more, um, um, at least, um, probably more um, um, action in terms of trying to get these phones and get the pins and and try to. And in some cases, my understanding is they've been able to deplete someone's. Uh, savings account. So again, be aware of your surroundings, travel in groups, um, and um, you know, in the, in the one case, you know, if you've been a victim, the sooner the sooner we hear from you, the better. Now, I know sometimes people don't want to come forward, but um, you know, we hope that with these type of actions, both proactively from the police department and outreach to anyone who feels like they've been victimized in this kind of manner, to come forth and make sure that we get a case. The more witnesses, the more people, the more description, hopefully we'll have a better chance of apprehension. So with that, I will I will open up for questions. Okay? If that's the if that's the will. You're pretty confident it's more than one group. With the with acknowledgement from the police department, in one case there were three or so assailants and in another case it was one. So you know there's there seems to be um, a pattern that the car seems to be at least in the first four. Uh, there's maybe two different types of sedans, one one darker color, one gray. So, um, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised they're all connected, you know, but in, in the case, there's two different teams. Any similarities in the victims? Um, were they leaving bars? Uh, is it a woman, a man? We know they're walking alone. Uh, I don't have, I don't have as many details as you're asking. However, um, the, the first incident that was uh, reported was approximately 10, 10 to 11 a.m., and the other ones were later in the, in the early morning. So late Saturday night, uh, around 10 to 11 was the first, and then more so in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have gender. I don't have, um, um, I, I, I can't answer that, you know, truthfully, I don't know. And I know you mentioned that you're asking for some more security this weekend. It is going to be pretty warm this weekend, so should people still feel safe out there? Well, again, I, I mentioned it's a big city, okay? It's an entertainment district. Again, travel in groups. You know, always keep people abreast of your surroundings. Um, you know, it's sometimes with a little bit of uh, alcohol, People lose a little sense of their, or are more bold, or more risk taking. You know, it, it's just, you know, I always say to people, this is not a college town. This is Chicago, and 
You know, I think we got a lot of young people that think this is Dubuque, Iowa. You know, and you know, we've this is a big city. There's a tremendous amount of great people. <laughs> There's a few bad people. So you got to just protect yourself. Again, we. It's just so interesting that this this kind of activity seems to be unique. Um, in 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 the case of uh, you know literally carjacking, which is certainly something we also uh, have a, a, a real problem with. Also, um, so you know I think what my concern is the elected representative from Lakeview is that you know we've seen less resources in the 19th district. We've seen them less district citywide. So we've got to work. Um, with our private security people, with our bar owners, most of them, if not all of them, have decent camera systems. So, you know, my, my hope is that we can nip this in the bud uh, and, and get on to, um, you know, having a good time for the weekends. And of course, next weekend is Halloween. Some people celebrate starting this weekend all the way through next, but uh, so be it. You know, uh, it's part of the reason I want to be on, on the news to say, hey, we care about safety in our community. We really care about the visitors and, and our residents, and um, just be careful. Um, and, th and that's everywhere, you know. So, but I'm elected in Lakeview. Wrigleyville is my district. We work very closely with the bar owners, with the SSAs, private security, CPD. They're doing the best with the resources they have. But I'm being kind of a squeaky wheel right now because, you know, I, you know, we're the center of attention, which I don't want to be in this case. Yes. No, no. Either SSAs and or chamber. Okay. So yeah, yeah. And that's this is not new. So we have employed private resources. Cubs have their own private security for their uh, for their campus also. So uh, it's not like there's not a lot of uh, security eyes on the street uh, and more and more cameras. You know, Cubs have really invested in cameras not only around their campus but Addison almost to the expressway and almost to the lakefront. So you see a lot of pods and. Um, you know, I hope that they add to the um, feeling of security and hopefully uh, some resolve in this particular case. And we mentioned this is a it's pretty unique. Is it unique to Ripley Hill or have there been other similar reductions? You know, and I, 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 really, I really can't speak to that. Um, you know, there are, other, there are other entertainment districts, but, you know, I, I really try to keep abreast citywide, you know, because uh, there are entertainment corridors in uh, Milwaukee and, and you know, and, um, certainly River North and certainly Lakeview and there's I think there's patterns in all these districts to be honest with you. Thank you all. Anybody else? No physical injuries though. Just no physical what? I'm saying no physical injuries. To our knowledge no one's reported yeah. uh, just that might be you know yeah. yeah I wouldn't be surprised if it's a push and a shove you know yeah. uh, and a little wrestling you know but again from what, what I've heard um, they've been emotionally scarred and uh, and, and I would ask, please, if there's any other people that felt that they've been in a similar situation, the more we know, how hopefully, the quicker we can resolve this issue. Okay? All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right, 44th Ward Alderman Tom Tunney, hearing from him there, representing Lakeview, Wrigleyville area. Uh, he just addressed what has been a string of armed robberies and abductions that uh, took place very close to each other over the weekend. Five of them all told. Again, five individuals uh, report being abducted, uh, taken for a time, uh, robbed, and then later dropped off. Uh, the perpetrators number anywhere from some of the victims, say, one to three individuals. Uh, I'm going to list off the addresses they happened at 3500 block of North Clark. That happened on Saturday, the 15th. And then there have been four now reported on Sunday 3400 block of North Clark, 1100 block of West Addison, 3600 block of North Clark. And again, the 1100 block of West Addison. So two of them, 1100 block of West Addison. And then three of them between the 34 and 3600 block of North Clark. Again, five now victims have come forward and say they were abducted, uh, taken in someone's car, held for a time, 
Uh, there may have been violence involved in a couple of them, um, nothing too severe. Uh, wallets, cell phones stolen, later dropped off. Uh, the longtime alderman there, Tom Tunney, asking for more police patrols, uh, expecting it's going to be a busy weekend with a nice warm up here in late fall, uh, asking for more patrols and asking people to be vigilant. Be vigilant. Anyone with information urged to get hold of Area 3 detectives, or you can, of course, submit your tips anonymously to cpdtip.com. That's cpdtip.com. That is the latest. We'll have much more coming up with our TV friends at 4 o'clock. Chris Ty will have a full report. 4 and 6 p.m. tonight. That's the latest on the stream right now. I'm Brad Edwards. Thank you for joining us for this breaking news update. Now let's get back to the stream.